Hello there, my most amazing artists. Today, we're gonna do two of my favorite things. We're gonna make food and art combined. We're gonna make rainbow bagels. Now, before we begin, you already know what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with our mantra because even though we're cooking, we're also making art. We're gonna add one more today. You ready? My mantra. I am positive. I am creative. I am mindful. I am amazing. I am, you ready? HF. Let's do that one again. I am a chef, like the chef hat. I am an artist. Now, please don't quote me on that being the sign for chef. I also saw a lot of people hand sign it, I mean, spell it out. And I saw that another one was cook. So cook person, chef. That could be another way to do it. Just like in English, there's different ways to sign and different words that we can use for the same thing. So let's get started. Here's a list of the ingredients and materials you will need. Go ahead and take a screenshot of it to save it. You're gonna need some flour, some plain Greek yogurt, salt, some baking powder, sorry I showed you the soda one, um, a measuring cup, a teaspoons to measure, um, some food coloring. I accidentally grabbed the gel, the gel ones. They work just as fine, they just take a little bit longer to mix. A mixing bowl, and then extra bowls for when I separate each color. So first we're gonna measure out a cup and a half of flour and add it into our mixing bowl. Now you're gonna see me switch out the baking soda for the baking powder. <laughs> you're gonna need a teaspoon and three quarters of that baking powder. Next, it's three quarter teaspoons of salt and a cup of plain Greek yogurt. Now we mix it up until it starts to feel like dough. If it's a little bit too sticky, just add some more um, flour. Now that it's less sticky, more like uh, maybe Play-Doh or if you've ever made bread before, like bread feels like, you're ready to start using your hands to really mix in those ingredients together. Now don't forget to add flour to your hands to help it from sticking to them too much. I had a little bit too much flour in my hand, so I just got the surface where I'm gonna shape my bagels with some flour so it doesn't stick to that surface either. And then I'm continuing to really knead that dough. I have four colors, so I'm gonna have three small bowls and the fourth one is gonna be the one that I already have. And I'm gonna split the dough up as evenly as I can so that I have the same amount of each color. And now we're getting to the artsy part. We're gonna add our colors. For the colors, keep in mind, it is messy. It is gonna stay in our hands. So if you prefer to put on gloves, that's totally fine. I like to do it, do it with my bare hands because I, I like to really feel the dough. I wanna know that I don't have too much flour and whatnot. As you can see with the gel, food coloring i just squeezed it a few times for the liquid food coloring you're gonna have to gauge how much how many drops you're gonna need it depends on the kind you get and whatnot to start i don't know if you noticed but i folded the color in itself so that i don't immediately get super orangey hands because i feel like that's going to be harder to clean up i haven't tried it but i just like to do that to help stay clean and i just keep folding it in itself, squeezing it to really, really mix it as good as it can. Now be patient with yourself. It takes time, especially your first time. This is my second time making this actually. So just enjoy the process. It's so much fun playing with the dough. Okay, I'm slowing down so that you can really, really see how I add my color. Gel's different than the liquid one. I don't count drops. So you're gonna have to gauge how much you're gonna need and see me folding it on itself. That helps me keep my hands clean. And whenever in this process you feel the dough sticking way too much to your hands, just 
add some flour to them and really get it in the front back of your hands even in between your fingers to help it from not sticking so much to your hands that took a while keep in mind this is the sped up version mixing in the colors till until they were even took me a really really long time i sped this up and i cut out a lot of the parts in which i'm just mixing up the colors now we are finally ready to start shaping our bagels Pick a color, grab it a little piece, and start making it into a coil or a snake. Whatever you want to call it is fine. Now we're going to want to do that which eat with each of the four colors and put them next to each other. So now I squish all of all my four colors together gently because I don't want them to mix. I twist and pull them, roll it out because when you twist and pull, it creates a few bumps and you want your bagel smooth, so you roll it out again. And then to make them stick together, I use a little bit of that sticky clay and place them on my baking sheet. I mean though, I don't know why I keep saying clay. Now we keep repeating the same process to make as many bagels as we can, using up all of our dough. There they are, our beautiful and delicious bagels. Now we just have one or two more steps to do. Now we have to add a wash of either eggs or olive oil. This time I'm using olive oil because last time I used eggs and I wanna know the difference. After that, just add some seeds if you have them and want them and you're ready to bake them. Be sure to set your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit in bake. And once it reaches that temperature, you can put them in for 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your oven and your preference. Mmm, these came out so good and you can have them for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or even a snack. Enjoy!